Well, after an important win on Saturday against Ross County, which where I couldn't see. Travel three and a half hours. Pay money. And this is the view you get along that side. Look, fucking get on to your thing. And then there's people storing down there and all walking the view in that byline. So as you can see, my view on Saturday was terrible. Uh, I asked the stewards if I could move over to the other stand at the side and they told me no. Uh, they didn't give me a reason as to why this was a no. They sat 12 stewards in front of the well boys. Now, I'm aware that they put flares onto the pitch and that shouldn't be happening, but obviously when they were through on, nothing happened after that and nothing was going to happen after that. There was no need for those stewards to be there for the remainder of the 90 minutes, so it was absolutely shocking for Ross County to travel three and a half hours to not even be able to see the game. As you can see here also, I had to move to the side of the pitch to see Kevin Van Bean's penalty. And hopefully we can see more action like that tonight as Muller will take on Hearts and if we win, that all but seals European uh, football for this next season, which is quite remarkable because it will only be three wins in the year, uh, the calendar year for us. But if we win tonight and Rangers beat Ross County, that's it, we're in Europe next season. So let's go to Fur Park. It's Keith Lasley's last game as a member of the staff. So let's do it for Keith Monowell. We told the night that the John Hunter stand is sold out, so that's good to see. And have a look at the team's disappointing news, no Van Veen for us, but Hearts are. We've got a lot of players, they've not got Ellis Sims, he's on the bench, as well as Sutter and Craig Gordon as well, along with Stephen Kingsley and no Barry Mackay, so a lot of big players missing for Hearts. If we don't win the night and get Europe, then we don't deserve it. Simple as that, uh, we've we'll got a great, great opportunity ahead of us, so. Yeah. Let's go prediction before the game. I'm gonna go Motherwell 2 Hearts 1. There you go. Okay, wait, Roscoe, Roscoe, what are you hanging up for the game? Do that, Ice. Do that, Motherwell, who's going? Connor Seals? Go for Connor Seals, then Connor Seals 2 0. By the way, Watch out for this boy on Saturday night, he's got to the point of the year, he'll absolutely be causing it on the dance floor, won't you? For the before different people tell me to get rid of the GoPro tonight already, if you don't know the story, the one time I forgot my SD card in St Mirren, we won 4-2, I had it with me up at Livingston, my battery died 30 seconds later, the score the equaliser. And then when they charge right on Saturday, and we're going to beat Ross County, so I predicted this to win 2 1, but it's a stick on for the mother will defeat the night because this is what. Hey, Good start. Oh! Yeah! What a start for Motherwell! What a shoot played in behind! That's a shot across goal, Ross Stewart! Pumps a right hand in the middle and net on hand is the American! Joe Epper to tough hand in him today! He went and scored on one low up! I hate football! I'm so nervous! That's a fool! Oh, and then go on into us! Go shoot! Go! By the way, by the way, by the way! Oh! One each, Johnny, go him. You wonder why I'm saying that, by the way, it was one, no one's doing that. Up. That comes up, game the lead, but. It's a roll for hearts, I mean, 
I'm going to say that I think somebody should put a challenge in. Josh and Ellie just goodbye everybody. What a one me, Liam Kelly, and he wants to be on the bench in the former. But I've seen just making a round of right here. Oh, they're going to pop up to him. Oh, it's a really dangerous on the counter attack. It's another boy of the tap. Wayne Boyce runs on it this time, hits it on the volley. And thankfully, the player of the season for me is there again, Liam Kelly, to save our skin. It's a very, very open game. Both teams look like they can score every time they go forward, but it just hearts seem to be that a wee bit more. I wouldn't say clinical because it's one each, but they look as if they've got a wee bit more quality to create chances in the final third. The way it's one each. Oh. What is he doing? Oh my god. Touchdown! I don't care if Joe Effer scored the tap in, right? What he's just did there is absolutely criminal. He makes a great run down the channel. Sean Goss is at the back stick, waiting for the tap in. And then he does the play it. And he cuts in and tries to shoot, it's the point for the corner. If he squares it, it's a tap in and we're going in 2 1. We don't deserve to be 2 1, mind you, but. You've got to take your chances. Oh, I'd sub him for that. Honestly, it was that bad. Half time, below one hearts one. Uh, should be two one up, despite all the chances that hearts have had. Had one for Fijinelli, uh, but Liam Kelly took on the post and the friend all through uh, that, that uh, first half. They should, they should feel that they would be the chances that they've had. But we've had two, one we score, and then one at the end. Joe Effort, as I say, he's got to square it. He squares it for two one up. Sure. He cuts inside and has a shot, it's absolutely criminal. Uh, I know he scored tonight, but from what I've seen, I've yet to be convinced by Joe Effort at all. Uh, he might get all goal here or there, but I think he's all round player. I don't think he does enough, I don't think he likes it well enough, I don't think he creates enough. Um, he loses the ball quite a lot. It's very, very annoying. Um, so I would maybe bring on Kim Rowley if fit enough. Half time. Uh, if I'm going to continue to go with pace up front, I think he's a bit more of an end product than Joe Effort. And at half time, it is Mullable 1, Hearts 1. Yes! Joe Effort! No! Go on! Shoot! Yes! Nothing's even happened for me at the club, but I just want to let you know that there's 13 minutes plus about 5 added on for that injury to go. And my nerves are shattered, I'd love to know what my blood pressure's sitting out to do because there's times in football where you remember how nervous it was. This is going to be up with the most nerve wracking I've ever felt in, the, in football. Somehow we won three games all year. We won a Europe. What? There he is. Trouble. 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 He's done the whole put me through the ringer, mate. He's done the whole put me through the ringer. I don't know who you're doing for this. Yes, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. Come on! Where are we in? Joe Effort. Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe. Oh, 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 oh,
Blow him, 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 blow We'll start off with the game. It's a bit hard for me to analyse how good it was just because of how nervous I was through it in the 90 minutes. But we get the goal early on through Joe Effort. Just thinking, wow, what a start. Hopefully we can go on and build on this. But then Hearts reply right away through Josh Dinelli. It was great play for, for a Hearts perspective. But I thought that uh, a Motherwell player should have made contact with him quicker and um, stopped them for scoring, but uh, no, he runs through, puts it by William Kelly and makes it one apiece and then after that I thought Hearts had the better of the chances, William Kelly's had to make a couple of saves again for Ginelli, uh, he's had a couple that he could have scored and then there was one at the end of the first half where Joe Efforts got to square it and uh, Sean Goss has got a tap in and then we go in 2-1 in front but it wasn't to be, we went in one each at half time and we then introduced Kevin Van Veen at the start of the second half and I thought the difference he made, uh, with, it just transformed the whole team because his energy and his aggressiveness, it kind of went through the whole the whole 11, if you like. And I think uh, that was a catalyst for us to go on and get the second goal for the corner, Ricky Lamy hammering at home. So we're 2-1 up and then after that, I swear, it's the most nervous I've ever been in a football stadium that I can remember in a while because we ended up with, I think, another seven defenders on the pitch. Hearts sitting back, uh, no we're sitting back, Hearts coming at us, um, but thankfully we managed to see it out when the game 2-1 and now we're in Europe, so I'm going to give the game a 7 out of 10. We now go on to the atmosphere, I think it, what I've just said is reflected in the atmosphere, obviously we got a goal early on, we, uh, the crowd went up after that, but then as Hearts equalised attention comes into the crowd and then... Um, Aye, so it was a bit tense in patches, but the minute that we got the goal went 2-1 up, the well boys, in particular the John Hunter stand, it was um, very, very loud over there, uh, they did cheer the boys on to uh, the three points, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, because the Hearts fans were okay as well, they did get right behind their team right to the end, it was a good game, uh, atmosphere-wise, so 7 out of 10 for the atmosphere as well. Now on to the referee, I thought he didn't do anything wrong, I thought it was actually really, really good, he got every decision right, I don't think I can remember one where I'm going, oh, that was shocking, so I have to give the referee, I'm getting the referee a 9 out of 10, but the only reason it's not a 10 is because there wasn't maybe that big decision that he had to make uh, that that would have tipped it up to a 10, so I 9 out of 10 for the referee performance, and on to the opposition, now Hearts are going on to play a cup final against Rangers so they rested a lot of players tonight but in terms of endeavour and effort I thought it was there for the boys that did start they did cause us problems throughout the 90 minutes particularly in the first half um, so I'm going to give them a 6 because I did think that the effort and application was there for the players so uh, that sees the experience of tonight's game 29 out of 40 quite high um, I really enjoyed it uh, weirdly now looking on it I think at the time I couldn't enjoy it for the nerves, but when you come back, you sit in here, you get a chance to sit down, you can you can say that you enjoyed it. But no, three wins in the whole year, and we're off on a European tour, probably about a European trip, no mother but no, I'm delighted with that. I have called for the Alexander's head in the past, but an knee-jerk reaction for me, I think you need to uh, eat humble pie when you're wrong. Uh, but listen, 1-1-15 one, one wasn't good enough. Um, and for the last parts of this year, it hasn't been, but I can't sit here and say that I'm not happy with European football and a cup quarter final. So let's bring on it next season. Uh, I won't be vlogging Celtic Park, but I will be appearing on someone's channel that you will know very well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm going on with Sam North on Footy Adventures. So keep an eye out for that uh, on Saturday. Really looking forward to that. And I'll see you next season. Thank you to everyone who's watched. And to everyone who has subscribed, we're really trying to hit that 1,000 mark. So if you can do, please hit the subscribe button. We're only 30 away. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next season.